Hello and welcome for the fifth and last part of the tutorial on how to design a football clip using the 3D Shape Designer license and its three apps XDesign, XShape Design and XGenerative Design. In the last video, I added features and colors to the shoe's upper part in XGenerative Design. Prior to record this video, I also added the digital product simulation logo, so the shoe is even better than before. The design is finished, but I still have tips about this app for you. Something really important to do at the end of your design is to publish the components you've created. You just have to link every of them to a function publish. Here, I do it for the soil and I do the same for the rest. If you don't do it, these components would be invisible in the other apps of the 3D experience, even in XShape and XDesign. Now let me introduce you to the Experiment tab. At the moment, it is empty, but soon it will gather the parameters we want to control from this tab. To select these parameters, I place myself in the left side and I click on this button in order to set this color as a controller and of course I give it an illustrative name. I do the same for the other parameters. The clits colors, their number, the strips colors and so on. After that, I can set it to full screen. Now I can play with my parameters from here and for a better experiment, I switch to a better view mode. I can change the strips colors but also their number. The clit's number are also editable. I can set four front clits, but if you have to murder someone on the field, I would advise you 20 front clits and 20 back ones. Unfortunately, this shoe would probably be prohibited, so let's set 6 and 4 clits. Now let's say I'm satisfied with this combination of colors and features. I can define it as a design variant, clicking here on the photo camera, and I name it Friends. and it appears here. That way, I'm sure I don't lose this design variant and I can create others and save them successively. What do you think about the black and white shoe? I work on a second model with the French colors. I have three design variants and I can switch from one to another with one click.
And that's all for the experiment tab. I save it and I get out of the app. I designed it in the web client, but I can open it in the rich client through part design for example. I search my football clip and I open it. Let's see what we have in the tree structure. We have a section parameters that gathers the digital ones. Indeed, it's not possible to configure the colors set in X-Generative Design. However, you can modify the digital ones by clicking on them. As an example, I can increase the number of downstrips from 80 to 120. And it's automatically calculated. Same for the ankle strips. I modify the parameters. If I save it from part design, it should be kept in the entire platform. If so, let's open it in the web client. And it's effectively visible in the web client. This tutorial is now at an end. I hope you learned a lot about the three CAD apps we addressed across this series of video X Design, X Shape Design, and X Generative Design. I also hope you enjoyed the chosen example, a football clip, and that the final results have come up to your expectation. Don't hesitate to give your opinion about the different videos in the comments and check the other videos of the channel. It was a real pleasure to realize this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye! You are interested in the 3D experience? TPS supports you with webinars, specialized trainings, customized coaching, but also services and integration offerings of the platform. Follow us on the social media or on our website tps-fr.com and don't hesitate to visit our channel.